Jarek returns with some more Echoes of Rust. And here we are in our favorite Novi Teve system. Dreaming of of one day invading all of our enemies and freezing new Azov and Valak and Oberon and Jotunheim. Obviously the Terminus system. Yep, we want to free them. Free them. They are he, uh, interesting. Okay, let's look at the mil. Oh, we're looking at the military. Um, yeah, these were these were some problems. I need some money. We need to get some cash. So, what's the best way to do this? We are burning some serious. Fourteen. That's so. We have a lot of ships. What is going on right now? Oh, I gotta fix up the ship. All right. Cool. We're holding all our weapons with us, so we can just pop in here and uh, fit up this lovely, lovely super tank right here. And it's gonna get... I don't have a mauler, unfortunately. So I can knock the... This is an anti-shield dart. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. This damage is low. Uh, it's actually higher than that. So fire the dart. Um, ooh, definitely a scorpion beam. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. And... Hmm. But I keep the graviton beam, or I increase their flux generation. Suppresses the target's energy grid, increasing energy and ballistic weapons flux generation by 3% per beam. Up to fifteen percent. Ah man, kind of want to do it. It might be a different ship to do this. We'll just keep the graviton because that's going to give us five percent extra damage on shields, which will knock the shields down pretty quick. And then, I mean, ultimately, tactical lasers would be the best, but also. Whatever this is, this will fire towards target, launch at a very high velocity. All right, it's a missile, so it uses. Wait, why does it use flux? One seventy-five flux. I don't know. It will do something. I'll just. There's a little bit of PD on the. Um... Ooh, do I just put two PD on it and just let it go? Slap the lasers on the back. And then for missiles. I think the salamanders would be fine. Do that. I think this ship is going to be really darn good. Probably better than this one. Yeah, we'll give it to you. It's not a rush ship, but uh, it's going to work out, I'm pretty sure. Even with the degraded equipment on it, I think it's going to do really well. Obviously, the Diana Star is not going to work in this test. Do it. Your missile's just got shot out. Oh, your dart is actually hitting, causing him to shoot. Which is good, we like that. Yeah. It's, he's getting absolutely bodied right now. Yeah, because we're just constant, constant damage. We go. Engine just got whacked. Look at that. Yeah, this the ship is so good. Boom, boom, boom. Just constant fire. And. 
and... Oh, we didn't get the engine that time. Yeah. This ship's ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> it's really, really good. Really, really good. It's a little slow, but it's got uh, thrusters, right? Yeah, maneuvering jets to get out of dodge. Yeah, you're gonna be good. Feel a wonderful addition to the squad. And I just go there. So I think these ones, they're having trouble doing work. It's such a weird like group of ships. I do need two more battleships. I have no money, so there's that. Nothing going on in the bar. This officer. No, we don't want polarized armor. And you got salvage yards. So go to Varena. Off we go. Look at this. This is glorious. These giant fleets. Okay. Buster military's got its rusty bits. I don't need these. Thanks for the money. All this stuff will keep. All the weapons will keep. It's not using up, using up much. Um, yeah, we're gonna need supplies. Also need officers. So, okay, do any work for me, sir? What do you got? That is not that far. What is it? Hmm. So, easy to kill, I think. This fleet's pretty easy to knock out. That one's gonna be tough. This one's too far. So I'm actually going to take this. 32 days to get there. We need quite a bit of supplies. Okay, we'll take it. I think this is going to work out. I think. Where's the cheapest fuel I can get that's in this area? I don't even know. Um... I have barely enough gas to get there. I'd have to dump some weapons. Which I don't really want to dump. I want to keep them on hand for now. You know what? We'll just buy whatever I can buy. This is going to be... Uh, 14... Times 100, it's 1400, right? Yeah, so we're like super low on supplies. This isn't enough. All right, here's the question. What ships, this is like a big old fighting fleet. Why is it so tough to deal with? Um, yeah, we don't have a big supply fleet here. We did do a lot of fighting though, so how about I do this? Um, you can hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, or use the link in the description for freecash.com. That's that's what you can do. Um, for now, what I will do is uh, hit all these magic buttons. And uh, you already got you two. You need one. I can make you go faster. I will do exactly that. There we go. You have militarized subsystems. We give you survey equipment. We give you the militarized. And then we're gonna beef up all these guys. Do shield damage by 5%. It's actually pretty good. I like that. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Arm flux. Bigger shield. This converts some of the flux to be burned off. Which is nice. We'll do that one. Oh, we got a... What? what? That's two. Okay, we got one here. Advanced optics gets no buff. I think it's one of the shield ones. Re reduction of damage. I'll take that on you too. That's not the one. 
Is it? Yeah, it is. And you get hard shields. Reduction damage. And you. I'll give you this and then hard shields when I can get it. You have hard shields. And give you. Stabilized. You get hard shields. Yeah, so the fleet's gonna be a lot stronger now. Build in flux distributor. You need the flux. You don't even have anything. You need the hardened shields. Build in the heavy armor. Oh. I don't like that. I want you to have shields. Um, you don't have enough points. You're too new. Okay. How about you? Hard shields is definite. Hard shields definite. Wayne's are servicing gantry. Once per combat, when a fighter replacement rate reaches 40%, the fighter launch bays are switched to operate from a B deck. Standby fighters are launched to rapidly bring rings back to full strength, and fighter replacement is set to 75. See, that's really good. We'll, uh, we'll get there eventually with these two. Oh, you don't have enough. You're just shy. Okay, you definitely don't have enough. You have enough. And... Do I need to extend your shields? I'm not sure. Harden the shields? Absolutely. You don't have enough. You're too new. You... Well, you need integrated, so... Give 8,000. Okay, we're gonna fix you. Increase range. Yeah, this will... Increase range by 5%. I mean, dedicated targeting core. It's the same as integrated now, so... I guess it doesn't matter. You, sir. I would love to build in the hardened shields, but nope. Can't afford them. I'm gonna build your hardened shields in. You probably need armor. Yes, and yes. Um... Turn rate bonus. Yeah, I think you just need the most points possible. Also, we can build that in as an S mod eventually too. Okay, let's get everybody with some more stuff. I'm gonna give you military subsystems. Yes, please. You are gonna have high res sensors. Give us a little bit of sensor points, which is nice. You already have your two. You already have high res sensors. You can even survey equipment, which will give us um, combined survey equipment in your fleet. Reduce survey cost by forty. Supplies fifty heavy machinery. Okay. Maybe we only have two. High res sensors required. Do you not have any guns? Yeah, you got guns. Okay. You don't have any guns. You're not a fighting ship. Just remove this, put in survey equipment and be happy. Survey equipment. Already built in. Um, you have high res, high res sensors. You can increase your cargo capacity. Oh, you actually don't have shielded cargo holds. No, you do not. You're a looted path. 
version. I kind of don't need this thing. You just expand your cargo holds. It's only going to give me your destroyer? Yeah, it'll give you a little bit. Hmm. <coughs> I don't know what to give it. Make it rugged. I guess solar shielding then. You're only here to hold stuff for me. So maybe I can get rid of this. It'll get us back one fuel. It's not bad. I've been using you to fight. Um, your maximum crew, yeah, is a lot. I probably shouldn't be using this to fight anymore. It's a 10 point cruiser. And it's always in a bad location. Always. It's just always turned funny. I mean, I could put a beam on it. It's not a bad idea. He's gonna shoot the wrong way. Beam's okay. This is 500 range. This is better. Sure. I have the Diana's dart. You. Man. Extended shields, I think it's going to help it a lot. Okay, now how about you? Flux distributor. And then some more. Yeah, because these things run incredibly aggressive. They're nuts. You have the flux distributor. You have stabilized shields. You have extended shields. You have all the things. I'll give you a shield conversion front. Give you a 360 shield. Flux advanced optics. Mm hmm You have all the things. So what else can I give it? Solar shielding. What about you? Flux strip, advanced off. You got it all too. Solar shielding. That'll take away 10% of your damage. It's 10% of your incoming damage. The ship. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Give you heavy armor. This will auto order PD arc emitter. Yeah, but heavy armor. Toughen you up a little bit. <laughs> Flux distributor, probably. Um, flexible adjunct, actually. I think I would do because your distributor, you're already good on what you can burn. You have extended magazines. Oh, you need hardened shields. What am I doing? Yeah, you have hardened shields. Um, you have them. You could use... <laughs> A couple PD. <laughs> Don't keep you alive. This is four, four lasers. Okay. You, sir could use some capacitors or if you integrated give you a 20% more range which would be you know some oh phase lance not required
you should use this gun. It's an EMP gun that shoots farther. And then you, nothing. Mining blaster, nothing. So getting integrated would give you how much range? Some. Let's see if you can beat a hammerhead. Didn't actually expect to do this this episode, so we're doing it. Um, yeah, go. Show me the goods. Plasma burn. Yep. Boom. Yeah, one on them. Okay. A lot of sabos. There you go, you got one in there. It's an antimatter charger. Boom. Now you're getting close and then you start shooting. There we go. Okay. Fire the guns. Okay, I think this... 700 range is kind of what you need. In your small... Weapon range, which you're just not getting. Um, having everything be 500 would be okay too. It's okay, but it's not great. It's okay, but it's not great. Okay. What to do with this one? Either integrated. Uh, using graviton beam. Guess that's fine. These are all some damage? It's all shield damage. I need a. Uh, I guess your armor damage and graviton beam exists. What if I give you the integrated? And then a little of this. And then we'll just see if these armor piercing weapons do the trick. I don't think they will. Let's we'll see if he actually shoots them. He's staying away. He's afraid. Shot the missiles into the mine. Yeah, you gotta get closer. Well, they certainly do damage. Okay. But uh, I don't like this gun. It doesn't have the range it needs. Humper might be better. 10 burst sides every 4 seconds? Yeah. That's gonna be better. And then you, sir. Yeah, you definitely need needed that flux distributor. And you just silver sword. It buffs you. Um Your hull's kinda weak. Which would be like blast doors or something. Heavy armor would be nice too. Integrated won't really help you. Your frigate size? Yeah. Reinforced ball heads would help you, I think. Heavy armor plus one. There you go. Yeah. And you had nothing. You have two light machine guns built in. Uh, how small is the ship? 30? Is you rocking a broadsword? Buddy Utility Craft. <laughs> okay. 
I mean, better than the brown sword. Um, you have a salvage gantry in your civilian ship. So that means you need military subsystems. You need heavy shields. And those both have to be built in. So we'll figure that out in a second. This guy, I need better PD. Really don't have good options. I have like no money. There's lasers. Won't do much. Technically, giving environment to shield won't do much. Heavy armor would be really nice on this thing. It's not going to happen. Arc emitter is going to help. You have heavy armor, which I like. But we're going to put in the shield for now. And I'm going to put in your frigate. Oh, your destroyer. 20% range. I'm going to put in the arc emitter that we'll build in, right? Yeah, and we'll put all that stuff back in. Okay, you're good. You need this built in. But you also need heat. Uh, you don't need much heat. But you should be... You should be maxed out on it. This little old forge. Every 40 seconds rebuilds missiles. So ain't that nice. And you have micro missile swarm. This is a great weapon. Got some ion streamers. It's a PD. Every 40 seconds get a new hammer. Every 40, is that 40 seconds forever? A micro missile forge that replenishes spent magazines. Up missile weapons by one. But at least one missile per launcher. In combat with extended middle. Um, here's my thought. A 40 second reload on a reaper. Times four. Because it won't reload this guy. But it will reload Reapers. Well, that's a 40 second reload Reaper. And again, it's reloading these two when they run out. I'm curious. I am so very curious. Got ECM. Turret gyros won't help you. Uh, shield front would help. If I can get eight points. Stabilized shields you already have. Shield front gives you full shield. We're gonna give that a try. This might be ridiculously strong. We're about to find out. This is a Quad Reaper ship. True missile ship. Swarm the missiles. You're gonna have to get nice and close. Uh huh. Oh, triple mi- yeah. Absolutely destroyed. And then in 40 seconds, these are gonna reload, right? So while he's sitting there fighting for his life, shooting his little squall missile launcher, eventually you should get plus ones. Mm. Every 40 seconds, we're getting new reapers. Boom. Now they're reloaded and ready. Let's see if we get a plus one. Does it do it forever? Ooh. 
La dee da dee da dee da. Oh my goodness, this is a 40 second recharge reaper. That seems incredible. Incredible. Front shields, integrated, extended front shields, all the shields. I really want to load this up with a ton of like reloading missiles, but it's scary. Like these. I want to load it up with these. I don't have money for them. But I want all of them. And they can just fire missiles all day long. So they can be really strong. And. No, no, no. No, no, no. Not right now. Not right now. Right now we need... Boy, oh boy. Flux distributor. Plus whatever we can get. You didn't have enough? Nope. You had enough. Got an illuminator, which is great. You need range. Yeah, you need range. So, dedicated is 15, integrated is 15. What's the difference? Most common ships install one or the other, but you have to build this in for the story point. That's the difference. This is objectively worse than integrated. Which just comes with 15 out of the gate. So we're gonna put it on. I think it's gonna work. Uh, you had none. Only you had an auto forge. Um, this is 500 range. It's not enough range. You do the armor damage. You all do shield damage. So. All damage? Yeah, there's some serious work on this one. And integrated is what we need. And then you're good. You have safety overrides, which I can't build in. Plus a Mistral Microforge. Which works forever? Or just one or whatever every 70 seconds. All small missile launchers. Reload progress will pause when the ship's overloaded. These are 70 second re reapers, or... So you do get it. You got these guns, you got these guns. So you're... you're pretty good. You need shield, though. I need to, um... I can't build in these safety overrides, that's the problem. So I'm gonna take them off. You're not going to be fast anymore. Sorry, bro. I'll put you into the brawler spot. Um, I can put in the missile autoloader. Which will give us just more missiles. Which would be kind of nuts. Uh, you need this. Yeah, you're going to be 700... 830. I think, I think you're going to work, Mr. The One. Werewolf. You built a dedicated core. So the only thing I'll change on you is increase the amount of hammers you have. Uh, to a double hammer. This is a jackhammer, which gives you more hammers. You don't have missile auto core or anything? No. So you just throw missiles like crazy. These torpedoes. Uh, yeah, you need missile racks. These things are crazy strong. Actually, 
800 damage. I mean, you're just a crazy missile ship. Seems wild. All right. Um. You all use. No, you don't. All these weapons use tons and tons of beam weapon. Okay. What's the best thing to do here? Standard shield, stabilized shield, shield conversion front. I'll get a 360 shield. Can we make it tougher? Just make it even more. You, I'm not sure what to do with you. I mean, I got the big laser. You're rocking the range. You need auxiliary thrusters, is what you need. Because you, you're slow. You need to turn to get that laser on target. Having a full shield also helps. You have auxiliary thrusters. Dedicated cores built in. You got all your shield abilities. So all we can really do. I think I gotta change these weapons out. Yeah. Something like this. These guns would be nuts. Two. These all cost money. Oh, own those. Own this. Own this. Four hundred. That's six hundred per shot. That's seven fifty per shot. One thirty-five per shot. With EMP arcs. Yeah. So the general idea is like a slow shooting weapon that it can fire. <laughs> And then forget about it. These auto cannons aren't going to do it, right? So, what if this thing doesn't work very well? I mean, these are anti shield, they're very reliable damage. Then there's the Asteroid Destroyer. It's also very good. The Overstressed Fire Control we can't get rid of. Anything beyond ranges... Yeah, the ranges are lowered. Until we use our ability. Our shield is good. There's nothing we can add on that's really going to do it. Heavy armor make you tankier. Beam weapons deal more damage. Arc emitter. Operations center would work. Or shielding would help a little bit. This would lower our range but increase our speed. Can't use safety overrides, right? No. Could I put an unstable injector on this thing? It's still at 1200 range. On this gun. Hmm. This might work. Missiles, I'd want something entirely different, but I just don't have them. Multiple Reapers would work, actually. Just a boatload of Reapers on this thing. These guns... should be... much longer range... weapons. This is a Rail Burst. One twenty four eighty. I'll take the Rail Burst. Fine. Alright, Black Dagger. 
How are we gonna do this? How are we gonna do this? Let's see how quickly we can rip this ship up. We got some big guns now. Punk. Alright, pile them out. It's a good flight of the pile of snows. He didn't ping. Oh my goodness. This is um, way better than the lasers, I think. Yeah, look at this go. It's just a crazy DACA ship now. It's, <laughs> it feels better. Now, if it pings, the point is you ping and you fire, and then you can burn off some of your. You know, do another one. I'll, I'll see if I can do this myself. Um, can we fight, say, you? I don't think, I don't know if I can do this. Turn you on, turn you on. Heels up. He's just shooting at us, and I hate every second of it, because our lasers aren't... They're not doing enough. Um, are the big gun's going to shoot. Can hit that up, but it still burns. Not enough range. Only for the one gun, so we need more of those. Yeah. Fire all the light misses. Yeah. Yeah, so this build will complete when I can rock three of these. Four of these? Yep. Yep, it's gonna be four of these. Because they're all the same range? Oh, I forgot I had these. Um, yeah, this is going to be much better. Um, like that. Did I miss any? <laughs> yeah. The range is 595. There. Um, these things might need to be dual flax, so I can deal with enemies. These missiles aren't doing it, and obviously we want Helios Artillery, which I don't have enough of. And there isn't many here. This wouldn't work on the ship. Yeah. I don't think this array would do it. They're, they shoot all over the place, just kind of fill the field. All right, well, listen, we did some building. That was fun. I love doing building. I love testing things out. We still have the money. An officer. You are reckless, sir. Can I use an aggressive officer? Mm, all right, I probably can. I forgot I have no money. <laughs> all right, we'll see you in the next episode. I'll uh, run through a couple months here and we'll get some cash. Bye.